It's January 6, 2022. I want to talk about the strong delusion dream. Now, in the last video, I was speaking about a man that was a pastor that was misleading his flock. And the scripture he used was 1 Corinthians 3, 9 through 23. This scripture happens to have foundation in it. So let's read that real quick. You ready? So we're looking at 9, 1 Corinthians 3, 9. For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husband husbandry ye are god's building according to the grace of god which is given unto me as a wise master builder i have laid the foundation and another buildeth thereon but let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon for other for other foundation can no man lay than that is laid which is jesus christ now, if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort, sh sort it is. If any man's work abideth which he hath built thereunto, unto, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. And know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If any man defiles the temple of God, him, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. And by the way, he did not read that part. He read the part where you're saved. He did not go to the part where it says you got to keep your temple holy. Okay, so you can see that these people are saying, as long as I believe Jesus Christ is it, Jesus Christ is Lord, I, and this is what the man said himself, I can do whatever I want. doesn't matter what you do. Okay, I can do whatever I want. It doesn't matter what I did that wasn't right will be burned up, but I'm still saved. Okay, and I know... In the past, I've had individu individuals tell me this. Okay, what foundation did you build it on? What Jesus are you looking at? Are you looking at the Jesus that says, you're once saved, always saved, past, present, and future, since forgiven, I can do what I want? Or are you obeying Jesus when he says, go and sin no more? Does the worst thing come upon you? You know, if, you're, if your foundation is cracked and, and not stable, it's going to not hold your building. So the foundation is very important. I just gave you the foundation. It's in Matthew sixteen sixteen. Peter said, you are, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. That's your foundation. Jesus Christ is Isaiah 9, 6. Unto us a child is born. He is the everlasting Father. Okay, he's the Prince of Peace, the mighty God. God came, Emmanuel, and dwelt with us. If you don't believe Jesus was the living God come in the flesh, then you don't have the right foundation. I can see this video is going to take a while. So we're going to stop there. As the Lord leads me, we'll go through the uh, strong delusion dream. Ex explained. I noticed that all elements of this dream were found in Scripture, which was a blessing to me. So let's go ahead and I'll read them real quick to you so that you know which direction we're going. So we started with 1 Corinthians 6. I'm sorry, 1 Corinthians 3, 9 through 23. Then we went to um, the running of the race was in 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 27. Not having shoes is Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Taking the, taken to the strong delusion was 2 Thessalonians 2. I think it starts at 10 through 13. Not understanding the nakedness and shame, Isaiah 3, 17. In the darkness, but believing it's light. Isaiah twenty twenty four and also in Isaiah five. Let's see. Let's find it real quick. Well, I'm surprised I put twenty twenty four. We'll go back to that. It's in Isaiah five. I'll have to look at twenty twenty four and see what that is because I don't think it's Isaiah twenty twenty four. <clears throat> Let's go to. Isaiah real quick. So I can at least have this on this video. Let's see. Isaiah. Let's see. 
Let's see how five. It, oh, that's what I was doing. Okay, so I was in the light. Isaiah 5, verse 20 through 24. That's what it is. Okay, may the Lord lead us in this teaching. Pray yourself. The firm foundation of Jesus Christ, the living God. God came in the flesh. His name is Jesus Christ. He died. He was buried. He rose again on the third day. Give us resurrection just like he was resurrected because he's the living God, life everlasting, okay? We're going to be resurrected. We're going to have a resurrected body. We're going to be like him someday. Though he is God, we are we are in him and the Father is in him. According to John, I think it's 15 or 15, we're abiding in him. And then in 17, I think it covers where we're one with him. Jesus Christ the Lord is sick of now. Shalom.